The IRS announced on Wednesday that it would push back this year's tax filing deadline to May 17, 2021. A House Ways and Means Committee statement praised the decision. This extension is absolutely necessary to give Americans some needed flexibility in a time of unprecedented crisis, according to a statement made by Chairman Richard Neal, DMA, and Oversight Subcommittee Chairman Bill Pascrell Jr. DNJ. The delay will give millions of Americans more time to get their documents in order and file their taxes. This is critical, as the recent stimulus bill passed by President Biden includes several important tax-related provisions. Here's what you need to know. Many of the benefits included in the recent stimulus package, such as direct stimulus checks of up to $1,400 per taxpayer, and expanded child tax credits of up to $3,600 for the year per child, will not be considered taxable income. Unemployment benefits typically are taxable. However, a last-minute Senate compromise resulted in the waiver of federal income taxes for up to $10,200 in unemployment benefits received by taxpayers during 2020. This could potentially save millions of Americans thousands of dollars in taxes this year. The stimulus package also included $7.25 billion in additional funding for the Paycheck Protection Program PPP, a pandemic relief fund that provides forgivable loans to struggling small businesses. President Biden recently eased restrictions for the Paycheck Protection Program, expanding its eligibility to include business owners with defaulted or delinquent federal student loans. These business owners may have been previously barred from obtaining PPP relief. PPP loans that are forgiven by the federal government should not be considered taxable income under federal law. However, some states are treating these forgiven loans as taxable under state law. Business owners should consult with their tax advisor for guidance. A provision in stimulus package exempts all student loan forgiveness from taxation through January 1, 2026. The exemption is broad, covering government-held federal student loans, federally guaranteed FFEL program student loans, and private student loans. Cancellation of debt, including student loan debt, is often a taxable event for the borrower. Congress has carved out some exceptions, such as for public service loan forgiveness and disability discharges. But in other cases, canceling debt can leave the borrower with a significant, and sometimes unaffordable, tax liability, blunting the financial benefits. This could have significant future benefits for student loan borrowers on an income-driven repayment plan, and for borrowers who settle defaulted student loans for less than the amount fully owed.